We start with the latest on the Sewolho ferry disaster. Nearly one month has passed since the ferry sank and investigators believe they are edging closer to uncovering the real owner of the sunken vessel. But making significant headway is proving difficult as those with the closest ties to the man in question are refusing to cooperate. Connie Kim starts us off. Investigators believe they are narrowing in on the real owner of the sunken Seoro ferry, which they believe is the key to unlocking what may have caused the accident. Key figures associated with Changhejin Marine Company, the practical owner of the ferry, have not been cooperating with the investigation. Prosecutors summoned in Yu Dae-gyun, the first son of Changhejin owner Yu byung un for questioning Monday morning, but he failed to appear. If he had shown up, they would have asked him about his involvement in Hemo Group, under which Chang Jin operates. The prosecution has issued an arrest warrant for Yu to force him in. Yu currently holds majority shares in three Hemo Group affiliates. He was paid nearly 10,000 U.S. dollars a month for his duties, and the prosecution suspects he is deeply involved with the day-to-day -day operations. Investigators are also looking at him on charges of tax evasion. Prosecutors did have a chance to talk with another member of the Yu family on Sunday. Yu byung the older brother of Cheng Jin owner Yu byung un was questioned overnight on his possible involvement in the construction of the Seoro ferry and the business operations of Cheng Jin Marine Company. Yu byung un is likely to be summoned sometime this week. While investigators hone in on the ferry operator and owner, the search for those still missing in the accident continues off Chindo Island in southwestern Korea. Fast tidal currents have made it difficult for rescue personnel to find the 29 passengers still unaccounted for. Operations are focused on the third and fourth floor of the vessel, but with the threat of the fourth floor collapsing, authorities say divers are looking for a new way inside by breaking through the walls of the vessel. Connie Kim, Arirang News.